master chef. He's hoping to cook up a mouth-watering $50,000 against today's mob. Does he have the right ingredients? We'll find out on One versus 100. So tell me, what's your specialty? Well, you know, I love to break things down to like their basic ingredients. I do, I do my own pizza dough, I do beer, I, I, you know. You make beer? Sure, yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> more like that. All right. The one thing I don't do though is Asian food. It's a little what? embarrassing. Yeah, I know. But you're Asian. I, I know, you're, you're, you're my Asian cousin, but no. The reason why is because my mother and my grandmothers were such amazing chefs. I, I can't live up to that standard, uh, and I don't really need to because, you know, they cook for me. I understand. Yes. All right, well, Marty, are you ready? Oh, yes. Show me you're ready. Where's the mob? Bring them on! Oh. 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 As you can see, all of our mob members are playing via webcam. They're playing from all across the country. We have lawyers. We have cheerleaders. And we have some firefighters. Hey, guys. <laughs> the game is simple, Marty. Either you win or they win. It's going to be me. All right. You're pretty confident. Oh, yeah. Okay. For every 10 mob members that you eliminate, you go up one step on our money ladder. If you eliminate all 100 of the mob members, look, it's $50,000. Oh. But if you get just one answer wrong, you go home with nothing and the remaining mob members are gonna split your money. I'm not scared, bring it. You're not scared, so oh, are you yeah. ready? Oh yeah. Mob, are you ready? They sound ready, that means it's one versus 100. <laughs> to help him relax, a wife gives her husband a yoo-hoo. What is he enjoying? <laughs> a Swedish massage? A handheld video game? or a chocolate-flavored beverage. Mob, lock in your yoo-hoos. <laughs> okay, the mob has locked in. This is your first question, Marty. What do you think? Wow, it sounds naughty. Uh, a little bit. So I'm thinking <laughs> massage, but I believe that yoo-hoo is a chocolate-flavored beverage. So I'm gonna go with C, chocolate-flavored beverage. All right, Marty, lock in your choice. My pleasure. Let's find out if this is truly going to be his pleasure. What's the correct answer? Yes, Evan. Very good. You're working your way up to $50,000, my friend. Let's see how many mob members got that wrong. Just two people didn't know a yoo-hoo. All right, well, let's talk to one of our cheerleaders who got that right, Box 20. Hi, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm good, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Stephanie Kalupa and I'm originally from Utica, New York. Do you have a special cheer or anything you wanna do? Marty, this one's for you. Marty, Marty, you are a slob. You cannot defeat us, we are the mob. When your name is Marty, you get a lot more vicious taunts as a kid. So bring it. I I'm not scared. He's not afraid of you, no. Bucks 20. Bring it on. Well, thank you for that encouraging cheer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means it is now one versus 98. Bring it! An ancient South American spy might use what to send a secret message? Invisible Inca, oh. Norse Code, or Sudoku. Wow. Hmm, mob, lock it in. All right, thank you, mob. Marty, what do you think? Uh, let's see, you know, uh, uh, Sudoku, that's a math thing. Is that, that's not really a secret message. And I think the Sioux are a tribe from North America. Um, Norse code, clever rhyme, but I don't think I'm gonna go with that one. I think the Incas were from South America, and uh, 
I guess they, they're good at secret codes. I'm gonna go with A, Invisible Inca. Lock in your answer, Marty. All right. Is it Invisible Inca? $50,000. Let's find out how many mob members you just took down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh. Okay. That's good. 14 mob members eliminated with that question. I You're still up. See, your, see some cheerleaders there. Uh oh. He's going after the cheerleaders. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you're at the $500 mark. Can he work his way all the way up to $50,000? We'll find out when we come back. Welcome back to One Versus 100. Before we move on, I just want to welcome a certain fireman to our game in box number 59. Come on out here, please. Tell us your name and where you're from, sir. Uh, my name is Mark Siegel, and I'm from Huntington Beach. I just want to introduce him as a hero. Mark is a two-time Medal of Valor winner. It's an honor to have you in our game. We like to think of the mob as bad guys, but you're a good guy. Thank you. All right, Thank good you luck very today. Much. Does that intimidate you? I'm not scared. All right, well, guess what? It's one versus 84. Yeah. If Pinocchio fell into a vat of Italian potato dumplings, what would Geppetto call him? Pinocchio? <laughs> Pincrocchio? Or Pin Radicchio? All right, Mob, lock it in. Thank you, Mob. The mob has locked in. I think you might have an advantage on this I question, know. Marty. It would be embarrassing if I missed this, but <laughs> it's not, you know, it's, it's tricky. Mm -hmm. That, well, croak, I believe, is a French word, so I'm gonna knock that one out since we're looking for Italian stuff. Uh, radicchio is a delicious vegetable. Uh, it's funny, I just started making gnocchi, and uh, so that's been what I've been working on, so I'm gonna go with A, gnocchi. All right, Marty, lock in your answer. All right. Pinocchio. Yeah. yeah! Marty! I love it! All right, you're working your way up the board to $50,000. Let's see how many mob members got that wrong. So everybody Hi. say goodbye. Hi, Mark. All right, Marty. You are now at the $1,000 level. Yeah. Just now, you knocked out 10 people. Do you want the money or do you want the mob? Well, Carrie Ann, there are some ugly mugs up there that I'm sick of looking at. So I'm going to take on the mob. Bring it. Yeah. It's one versus 74. Up with the guy that invented it. Who are you all wet and wrinkly with? Roy Jacuzzi? Johnny Jetstream? Or Jacques Cousteau? Mob, lock it in. Thank you. The mob has locked it in. Marty, what do you think the answer is? Well, no offense, but Johnny Jetstream, that's just silly. Uh, but the other two seem like real names. Uh, both are very familiar to me. I, Jacques Cousteau, I mean, I think he's the, the ocean guy, right? Who had a, a boat and did lots of documentaries. And A, I seem to remember being in a jacuzzi once or twice. So uh, that one seems to make the most sense. So I'm going to go with A, 
Roy Jacuzzi. Lock in your answer, please. All right, here it goes. Okay, is it Roy Jacuzzi? You have to fifty thousand dollars. So let's see how many people got that wrong. Suck it! Yeah. <laughs> okay, you just eliminated five members of the mob. You are at one thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> how does that feel, Marty? It feels pretty darn good. That feels pretty good, right? Oh yeah. All right. So I have a very important question to ask you. Do you want the money? or do you want the mob? But I don't want your answer just yet. I want it when we come back. You can leave right now with $1,500. Or you can continue playing and go for the $50,000. Oh, yeah. So I have to ask well, you, Marty. Well, I have to say, I'm still stinging from that anti Marty cheer, and there's still two cheerleaders up there. And I want them gone. So I'm going to take the mob. So you have the mob. It's one versus 69. Holster your harpoon. If you see a woman with a whale tail, she's just wearing what? A fanny pack? A thong? A shoulder length hairdo? Hmm. Mob, lock it in, please. All right, the mob is locked in. Let me remind you, Marty, you have two helps. You can pull the mob, or you can trust the mob. Or you can go solo. All right, OK. I am obviously not a woman, so this is, uh, I see. yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for recognizing that. Uh, you know, a, a fanny pack, I, I think it's just called a fanny pack, isn't it? Um, and it should be also a guy wearing a fanny pack. What, wouldn't it be a whale's tail? Too, uh, so I don't think it, that's it. A thong. Um, Do you know what a thong is? I, I do. I do. I. <laughs> oh, so I, I think I heard a song about are. about a thong, <laughs> uh, but I don't think it resembles a whale's tail at all. Um, at least not the thongs I've seen. Mm. So I think I'm gonna, by process of elimination, go with uh, C, a shoulder length hairdo. Okay, Marty. Well, lock in your answer, please. Oh. Is it a shoulder-length hairdo? I think so. Oh, oh no! Such a disappointment. I'm so sorry. Marty, you got that wrong. A whale's tail is, you know when the thong sticks out of the jeans when the girl's been down like this? And you get the little whoop. So what did Marlo Thomas have in that girl? Isn't that kind of Marlo awesome? Thomas just had a funky hairstyle. <laughs> That's all that was. All right, well, let's see how many mob members got that wrong. Wow. 36 got it wrong, which means 33 of our remaining mob members will be splitting your winning. Congratulations. This round goes to the mob. Marty, you played a great game. Get over here. Oh, thank you so much, Jeremy. I'll have to learn my cooking secrets another time from you. I know. All right, well, we'll meet a brand new contestant who will try to take on a brand new mob right after this. Sheila Brown! Come on, Sheila! Yeah. 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 Welcome to our 
all about yourself. Well, Carrie Ann, I am a world traveler, entrepreneur. Um, I travel the world having great adventures and just have a great time. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you here. Thank um, you. What would you do if you won $50,000? Well, I'm planning my next round the world trip, and that would buy my business class ticket. So nice, that's, that's the way to fly. Oh, that's the only way to fly, trust. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it'll let me do that for about a year and a half or so, having more for a crazy adventure. So. Well, where would be the first place you would go? South America, the men are hot. Oh, <laughs> you've already got a plan down. All right, well, let's see if we can get you on that trip. Are you ready to meet the mob? I am ready for that mob. Let's make it happen. Here's the mob. <laughs> <laughs> right, no. Okay. Not at all. That'd be a, oh, hell no. <laughs> Mom, are you ready? Yes, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like they're ready. That means it's one versus 100. Awesome. Woo! Yes. So exciting. <laughs> what would the Pillsbury Doughboy wear to experience muffin top syndrome? Hmm. A Native American headdress? Oversized shoes? Or tight pants? All right, Mob, lock it in. Okay, the Mob has locked in. Let me remind you, Sheila, you have two helps in this game. You can pull the Mob or you can trust the Mob. So what do you think of this question? This is a good question. I actually like this question. Um, I believe I have the answer to it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not a Native American headdress. I'm going to guess it's probably not oversized shoes, even though I've never worn those before. So I'm going to go with uh, tight pants like what I have on today. So I think it's C, tight pants. All right, we'll lock in your answer, Sheila. All right, I'm going to lock in C. <laughs> All right, is it tight pants? Correct. You're working your way up the board to $50,000. Let's see how many mob members you just eliminated. A lot. All of them. <laughs> she wants them all. They're all gone. Woo! Yes, keep going. Keep going. Yeah! 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 I'm not going to 12 mob members. Oh, Very nice, which takes you up to the $500 mark. All right. It's one versus 88. Woo! Based on how the letter Z is pronounced in England, how would the British say the name of Beyonce's husband? J Zeta, J Z, or J Zu? Mob, lock it in. Okay, the mob has locked it in. Sheila, what do you think? You're smiling. <laughs> I had a British boyfriend for literally a year, and uh, but I'm a little like, mm. so I, I believe I know what it is, but I'm, I'm a little stumped. So, Jay Zeta, I don't believe it's that one. Jay Zoo, I don't think it's that one. I'm thinking like, like they say in Z for certain things, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, you so, do have helps if you'd like them. I would like to use a help, please. All right, which one would you like? You have. Pull the mob or trust the mob? I am going to pull the mob, please. Okay, let's pull the mob. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tell me which answer you wanna know more about, and I'll tell you how many mob members made that answer. I would like to know about B. Let's find out how many mob members chose B, please. 70 out of 88 made that choice. Does that help you? It, it helps a lot. It validated what I already know, so, um, I'm going to go with B, J, Z. Sheila has locked in J, Z. Is it J, Z? Yes. Yes, it is. Well done, well done, well done. Love it, love it. All right, I know that those British people, because you know Len and Bruno, they're from there, and they always say Z. They say a lot of things. They uh, yes, say, they do. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. Let's see. You're moving up to fifty thousand dollars. Let's see how many people oh, on, let's go. you just eliminated. Mm. Woo. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, very come, nice. on, come, on come on. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. That's where I want to 
to me. Nice. Oh, Move it up. Very nice. Very nice. You eliminated 18 people on nice. that question. You're up to the $1,500 mark. Okay. Sheila, do you want the money or do you want the mob? <laughs> I'm here for $1,500. Okay. I want that $50,000. i am going for the mall, baby. Yeah! Oh, I love it. She's got guts, but does she have what it takes to win $50,000? Tune in next time here on One Versus 100.